Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. We're going to be talking about the third point on the segment, which is three quarters of the generation of Gen Z regularly contributes to their savings with nearly 10% saving for a down payment on a home. So Kirby, on our second point, I think you're correct. I think they must be in Alabama doing this poll because three quarters, 75% of my generation having 10% saved for a down payment on a home does not seem realistic at all. I mean, I don't know where they did this survey, but if it's 10% on a home in Georgia at a hundred grand, maybe, but like, like we've been talking about on these homes in big cities, like Miami, New York, I, I can't see uh, the majority of my generation having thirty to sixty thousand dollars saved. I mean, forget your generation, my generation, yeah. any generation. I mean, only thing you gotta do, every you know, people they they bow down to these polls and they never question the information on where these polls come from. Only thing you gotta do. And I'm saying you or people that's watching. The only thing you gotta do is just call, talk to the people that you know where you work at. Talk to your friends in your same age bracket. If you talk to ten or fifteen of them, you might got one. You might have one. Might have one that's saving that saved up for ten percent down payment. And then the ten percent down payment, just like the uh, last video. They probably believe in a house only worth $100,000 and they saved up $10,000. Oh, yeah, I got a 10% down payment. They don't even know what the house is. I mean, that's that's really what's going on. I mean, even my generation. I mean, we, you know, we're older generation and we try to talk about Gen Z like we got it all together. No, I know many people in my age range that don't have money for crap. Or if they have a house, they got a house when it was uh during the heartbeat loan period, you know, when you can get a when you can get a loan or you can get no money down, especially me being in the military. A lot of people they use the VA loan so they didn't have to put any money down. House prices wasn't what they are today, but that's that's what it is, you know. But they got on the property ladder and then they was able to sell one property and then move into another property or something like that. But they're not sitting there, I mean, even in my generation with 10%. Hell, they ain't even got a thousand dollars sitting in the bank, much less ten percent for a down payment for a house. It's few and far in between. And I'll let you go with that because these are people I don't want to talk too bad about. <laughs> no, man, don't put them. Don't stick me with them people. Um, no, I agree with what you're saying. I, I, I just, I just know this isn't true, and that's why. I mean, we all, we always talk about question information received. You can't believe everything that you read. I mean, this is, especially this is from Rocket. These three points are from Rocket Homes, so you know they don't have great rep. But you know, it's just like you said: talk to ten people, fifteen people in my age range, and how many are actually, you know, ready for a ten percent down payment? I not, I can't think of any. Um, yeah, I don't think this is true at all. This is a interesting poll that they took. Um. But, yeah, I think really just for Gen Z, as we try to teach on this channel, is just regardless of whatever may be blocking you, you've just got to find a way to go about it. I mean, my way to get a home was moving from Tampa to Lakeland, living 10 minutes from work, 10, 15 minutes from work, finding a house that was below the national average living in a rural, remote area, and just living on way less than I made. I mean, and if someone, if people in Gen Z want to buy a home as a goal, then they're going to have to consider the sacrifices that they'll have to make if they're not in the income realm to just simply buy a home of a median uh, price. Let's, let's just do quick math here. Let's just do quick, quick math. Um, Let's just use all right. The median is three seventy five, right? The median home price is three seventy five. Three sixty three, but yeah, three, three sixty. All right, so let's use three set three sixty. All right, so let's just say three hundred thousand. Ten percent of three hundred thousand is what? Thirty grand. Thirty grand, and most people, most people, not all, but most 
people will stick to Gen Z because you can answer this. Most Gen Zers, they prioritize getting the car first before getting the house. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. All right. These same people are spending between seven hundred and a thousand dollars a month on a car payment, right? Yeah. Right. So average car costs maybe thirty five, forty thousand, right? So average average income. Let's just let's boost it up for them. Let's let's say the average income is fifty thousand, sixty thousand dollars for Gen Z. Each one sixty thousand. All of them get sixty thousand. How much would they have to save and for how long would they have to save considering a thousand dollar car payment? So if they willing to buy a thousand dollars on car payment, they jacking off money every which way. But how long would they have to save if they made sixty thousand a year to get to that thirty thousand? See what I'm saying? Let's say let's say they're saving three to five five thousand a year. Huh? Yeah, exactly. 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 Really, really, really five grand a year, probably. Yeah. Five five grand a year for six years. So you tell you tell me one millennial that you know, or not millennial, one Gen Z person that you know. Hell, you didn't even got to give me a Gen Z. Just tell me one person that you know that's saving five grand a year for a down payment. I don't care what age rent thing. Yeah. I'm I'm still waiting. <laughs> there ain't any. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You see what I'm saying? You see how crazy that sounds? Right. I mean, and I mean, like the the studies is is insane, but they're not doing it. They're not doing it. the same person that will pay a thousand dollars a month for a car payment is the same person that's going to blow the bag at the mall every weekend, going out to the club every weekend. Uh it ain't let's just call it what it is. It ain't more it ain't more Alex's running around here. It ain't it ain't people that's true damn nerds, that's what I'm gonna call it. And save every dime they got. But it's not. It's not in my generation, not in our generation, not the generation after it. It damn sure ain't the generation before. The last generation that was true savers was the baby boomers. Everybody else has been spending ever since. These people are actually just wishing upon a star that uh the government's gonna come in and come up with some plan that Oh, like Bank of America came out, no money down, no PMI, or some crap like that, so they can get a house. But can these people really afford houses? Hell no. Are they really saving money? Hell no. They're just not doing it. And I mean, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Is people are getting worse with managing finances? Are is it some people on the social media realm that's making more money at a younger age? Yeah, but for the masses, they're not. And they ain't saving the damn dime. I mean, if I'm not even getting into they should invest and do all that. They're not even saving. But then they want, but they want the luxuries. They want that quote unquote American dream out there. And they won't make not one sacrifice to get there. So, but that's all I have. But the math, the math don't add up. It ain't penciling for me. So that means say guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.